Hi everybody and welcome back. Last time at Betrayal at Krondor, everybody died. Um, no, that actually happened the one before that. Um, last time at Betrayal at Krondor, everybody got better, got better. We went to the temple, killed everybody, because we made a lot of money from those gems and um, now we're uh, heading towards the coastline because uh, I think we're finally ready to actually approach Krondor. It's still going to be a lot of time until we actually arrive there, but um, at least we're we're now making we're now we're going to go there directly. Obviously, we're going to um, we're going to probably encounter a lot of stuff on the way there, but um, we're progressing faster than I'd expected. A little encounter into the woods was a good idea. Don't think. Yeah, we may have wandered into a trap. Okay, does that mean trap trap or ambush trap? Yeah, one of those. Okay, but now I know how they work. Uh, <laughs> okay, not even any cannons. Um, but this should be fairly easy, right? And Locklear can... We should be able to just... Oh no, you can regenerate as well. Locklear's just going to try to... This looks almost too easy, but then again... I think traditionally this is the first trap you encounter in the game, because I took a detour. Yeah, so this is just to prepare you for it. Well, I made things difficult for myself, apparently. Uh, yeah, we know that there may be other traps. Okay. This took some time for them to assemble. I thought perhaps the assassins that had attacked us thus far had followed us through the Inklandal. But there are too many of them, even to chase a renegade like Gorath. Delican has, be has to be calling on spies already plan placed within the kingdom. Okay, this gives, gives us a little background information on the story. Um, so far, we didn't really know why Gorath uh, was uh, Lockley's prisoner. Um, also, um, he didn't seem really to be a prisoner because his shackles were taken away right at the beginning of the game and he seems to have free reign and they seem to be getting along pretty fine. So he's a renegade. Um, Delican, who's the Morithal, who are the tribal elves, the barbarian elves, if you will, um, he's the... Um, He's the one who's, who's after Gorath, so there seem to be some political in, in implications. Um, also, I forgot that the elves, um, as I said, were going to be Russian, so, yeah. The Delican sits in Sarsargoth. Word of my escape should only have traveled as we have come. The fact that we have been attacked this far south suggests otherwise. I have never been a witness to it, but I've heard of a talent called Mind Speech. Very few magicians have it, but the ability allows men to community of, uh, of very long distances. Perhaps Delican might have hired such help. Owen, you need to learn that. It is entirely possible. Even before I escaped from his fortress, it was rumored that the magicians with whom he has been keeping company had such talents. I know that his assistant Nago claimed to have such powers, though I never saw evidence of such. And if Delican has the capacity, then undoubtedly he shall use his assistance. So we will have to be cautious and watch out for any who seem like magicians as we had for Kronda and kill them. Both of you, keep your eyes open. Okay, we will. Um, yeah. And I'm still going to keep a watch out for... Uh... It's a five-day journey, if the sign is to believe it. It will also be an excellent place to stage an ambush. Yes, we should take the chance. Days passed. Disliking the exposed feeling created by the defile, they moved quickly through the nights and left the days to resting under rocky overhangs and listening for assassins' footsteps. At least footsore and road wary, they emerged near the coast of the Bitter Sea. Um, so this was another needless, um, needless fast traveling, I believe. Yeah, we're now way down here. Um, let's travel down that, I hmm. don't know where that's going to bring us, let's find out. 
And obviously, yeah, this is basically the road the, the assassins are going to. Hmm. If we head to the north, there's always the possibility that the Moradol will. No, we don't want north. Um, the game just assumes that sometimes. <laughs> Which is a little annoying. This is the, the road the assassins are basically suspecting us to take. Um, but I'm confident now that uh, we found all those goodies in the forest that there won't be any problem for us. I do recall something being really hard on this part of the map though. I don't remember what which seems to be the story of my life. Um, hmm. Traditionally, the better things are along the quieter paths, like this one. But there's nothing here. Which I can live with just fine. Is there anybody here? No. Anybody here? Okay, back on the road. Well, it doesn't seem like we missed much back there. So let's just keep on and continue that way. There's bound to be an ambush at some point. Now that now we basically know that they're waiting for us. Okay, well that's new. Feelings of near panic, obviously something very... Oh, come on! That was a weird... Usually that's the message you get if there's some mythical monster, something really badass that's ambushing you. Not those guys. Just run. Ah, <laughs> oh, 37, that sword is badass. Actually, you get in there too. <laughs> Sucker punched him again with his staff. Ah, oh, good times. Okay, ah, oh, the sword is just awesome. Nice! Ah, oh, yeah. And everybody's getting better at melee. What do you have? It's this. Don't tell Mel you had that, right? Yeah. A little bit of money. Mother Lamprey. Can you carry that? Yes, you can. Okay, good. Um, that guy. Bowstring, broadsword, I need to be on the lookout uh, for, wait a second, yeah, poison rations, put those away. <laughs> One of them was poisoned. Uh, I need to be on the lookout for swords that look differently because the two ended swords, which are worth a lot and are pretty good, look almost exactly like the broadswords. And again, the shuffling to find the third one. <laughs> no, there were only two of them. What am I doing? Stupid, stupid. Yeah, those are no threat whatsoever anymore. I say that now, and there's going to be just two or three of them that are going to kick our asses just in a few minutes. Be sure of it. I jinxed it now. Don't know where that leads. We're going to find out. I 
many houses down there. No, this may just lead around that mountain, but there's something there. We're still going to take that drill just because um just because there might be some treasures behind it. <laughs> Not that Well, it, it it would take some some pretty Pretty badass treasures to, to excite us at this point, considering what we found in the forest. That was awesome. The sword alone. The damage Gorath does now is just sickening. What's here? The man who greeted them at the door smelled of fish. Folks, call me Chanti, he said after Lockley introduced himself. After a few more minutes of friendly conversation, he revealed he was a fisherman, but hadn't been out on his boat for several days due to his health. As he spoke, he threw dark looks at an unseen thing over Gorath's shoulder. Gorath was about to ask him another question when Chanti suddenly mumbled something angrily and slammed the door closed. No amount of coaxing would convince him to open it again. Racist? Well, back to the road. At least I guess it was because he's an elf. People don't like elves in this game. Again, I may be completely... The Morathor aren't the, the only elves. Um, they, aren't, they are elves, but they're like distant relations to regular elves. But I... Well, if, if, somebody, if somebody is an expert on the law or has read the books, um, feel free to, 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 to write as much as you like about it, because honestly, I have no idea. And um, I don't like reading up on it, because I, I, like some, I like when a game speaks for itself. And this one does. It's just... It's obviously an adaptation of a, of a series of novels, so there's bound to be things that I don't understand about it. And it's getting dark again. Let's use the last remaining moments of daylight. And rest. Again, Lockley is not doing so well. <laughs> and he only has two rations, how come? Give him some. Yeah, there we go. We have 13. Everybody, nobody wants to share with Lockley. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay, there's nothing there. At least not that I could see. At this point, I would really like um, like to find a place where I can sell all the junk I'm carrying around with me. I shouldn't be... I, I'm not going to pick up regular weapons and armor anymore because they don't bring much, but I can't bring myself to, to throw them away now. Some of them are really good, so... Also, I'd, I'd really like to find a smith who can repair my stuff, or somebody who sells repair hammers. Um, because otherwise we're going to be in deep trouble at some point. Now what's this here? Uh, let's see. No one has lived here. Abandoned houses everywhere. Uh, but we can't dig here. We don't have a shovel, do we? Oh, I want to. I want to grave rob. Warning. The fiend beneath this stone is trapped by dirt, not by death. Stay away! Yes. <laughs> I'm not digging up dead people. Yeah, we don't have a shovel. Oh! I wanted to, to, to meet the fiend. Well, we can come back at a later time. I need shovels. Damn, I need shovels. But so far I haven't found a place, who's, uh, found a place who's, that sells them. Probably because all they're good for is grave robbing. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You want some? You want some? Charge! I only have 
one of you? No, there's another one, at least one more there. The enemy is not surprised. Looks like we're going to fight on their terms. Maybe. But we're better equipped. Three. Don't make me laugh. Uh, actually... This might be fun. Let's try out that mind spell. I really want to know how it works. Um, where was it? Yeah. Gambit of the Eight. Uh, let's use um, Ten and place it here because this one might be going for Owen. Okay, you go up here. No. Ah. <laughs> okay. I think I could. I can think of some some. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. So it does ten times the damage you put in. This is awesome. This is... You know, the really awesome thing is that this, um... Um... He's got this other spell, Invitation, which pulls an enemy towards him. So he could place a mine in front of himself, then pull somebody... I'm going to try that. This is going to be fun. In the meantime, go work on your melee skills. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. Go work on your blocking skills. Lock me back there's being useless again. Man, he's doing fine. Can't blame him for not having a magical weapon. A Chevy thing. <laughs> I like how he sucker punches them, it's so awesome. Oh! He doesn't have very much speed, which is a problem. <laughs> very nice. Gorath is being awesome. Still, Lockbeer checks on his welfare. It's nice of him, I guess. A bit of gold, why not? We still have 650. It's awesome. It's so awesome. 18. We have enough bolts. This is a regular sword, isn't it? Yeah, broadsword. What do you have? And some rations. Are they spoiled or are they poisoned? They're regular! How about that? Goody. Let's continue on our merry way. Uh, actually, you take a restorative. Sometimes it's really hard to activate those. It's so, alright, and you take one too. And another one, alright. Just in case, because as I said, as their stamina goes down, they grow less efficient in combat. Um, which is something I learned the hard way. Because you think you're doing fine, you've got good equipment, everybody's at, I don't know, three quarters health, and you think you can wing it, but um, all of a sudden you stop hitting people, and then things get a bit nasty. Well. And everybody's combat abilities are uh, getting pretty decent. Gorath most of all, because Gorath is just he's just kicking ass. He's he's done forty damage, I think, with one blow, um this video. Oh hello. Who lives here? So this is another ambush, another deserted house. Maybe a tavern in which we can play the loot, eh? No one has lived here in some time. Okay. Are we back here? Oh, just in the grave. And we don't have a shovel. Poor us. <sighs> there we go. <sighs> I 
set? No, that was nothing. Don't really even know where we are right now. Let's see, we're still along the coastline, obviously. I think we're heading the wrong way. Uh, we need to. Yeah. Because I think we, yeah, um, that battle I believe that just just pointed us in the in the different direction, and I didn't notice it. Um, and this was the same grave we passed before. I thought it was familiar. Um, it wasn't too long, was it? Let's see. And this was... I don't remember what this was. Was this where that racist threw us out? I'd rather check. Because I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, does that simply lead back to the road? Oh, there is a hut, and I don't believe we've been there. It's getting dark too. Maybe it's a shop. Maybe we can get rid of all of useless junk. Yes, a shopkeeper. How very, very nice. Ah, uh, does he... I don't think he repairs, no, but still, he's got armor and weapons. And armor's hammers, very nice. And pick locks and... oh... And shovels! Very good. And whetstones. Ka-ching! We're making a bit of money on... How much are those lampreys worth? I have no use for such an item. Who has ever heard of such a thing? You sell bowstrings, why don't you buy a crossbow? <sighs> so at least this is... Do you sell the good crossbow? Uh, buy the good crossbow? No. Yeah, we're going to, to dump all of those. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's do some... You can be our, your, our utility guy. You're going to get the rope. Yeah, and yeah, this year. <laughs> um, let's yeah, a lot of those for you too. Also, um, the armorer's hammer for you as well. And where are those? Yeah, yeah, we can afford it. Why not? And also, yeah, the shovels. We're not going to backtrack, but um, we're not going to backtrack. But at least now we have them. Good. Now let's get to repairing a bit. Um, first of all, the whetstone. Right. Can't do more, can you? No, it wasn't as bad as he thought. Uh, wait a second. Why don't you have. Yeah, you do have repair hammers. Clang, clang, clang. Uh, let's hand him over here to. He's not very good at it, but then again, he doesn't get into much trouble, melee wise. Can you do that again? No. <laughs> he sucks at it. Uh, he doesn't need to sharpen anything. Have that awesome armor of yours. Good. Now we're just going to get better at it. And um, eventually we're going to, to get to... Eventually we're going to get to, to, to bring them, the armor and the weapons, into really good condition with it. It's just going to take a while. I usually don't even get a chance to do this. At least from what I remember, because I never, I never have to have the money to buy armorous hammers. So that's pretty good. Let's rest.
and everybody's so healthy. It's, it's just, I can't believe my luck, something horrible is going to happen really soon, I just know it. I can't really see, but there doesn't seem to be anyone there. Okie dokie. Oh, I just hope we find a grave soon. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, there's, sadly there's no background music. Um, there is, however, background sounds. I just don't know if you can hear them if they're loud enough. There's like birds chirping and, and stuff like that, which I think is really nice. There's music only for uh, certain places like stores and, um, and inns and taverns and uh, for combat, obviously. Which I also think, also think is nice. Even in... Well, it's nice for older games because um, budget and technical restriction led to horrible repetitiveness in those games. It's different with like the Elder Scrolls games uh, like Morrowind and Oblivion who had really, really amazing music because uh, they could afford a decent soundtrack and of course it sounded nice because the technical... Um, the technical possibilities were there. But for a game like this to, to, to not have a soundtrack, I think that's it's a good call. What's where's this lead? Quest is view, alright. We're definitely going to make a stop here. Maybe here somebody's going to buy our stuff. If not, we're just going to toss it on the ground somewhere because honestly I have enough of it. Um, and maybe there's some interesting things to buy, too. I would not mind a better weapon for Locklear at all. And uh, obviously some spells for... Um, for Owen. Also, it would be nice to play the loot a little bit. Just to... Just to make sure the townsfolk don't like us too much. <laughs> Who's here? Come in, come in, chimed a courteous young woman in a brightly colored apron. She held a cottage door open. Kneeling in front of a stone fireplace, a young man was placing several small logs into a crackling fire. The man looked up with a smile. Yes, please, we just finished eating, but I had some luck fishing today, so there's plenty to go around. People are awfully friendly sometimes in this game. Luckily, his nostrils flared as he welcomed the smell of the barbecued sea bass and fresh bread still lingering in the air. It's a tempting offer, but I'm afraid we must be going. No, why? A drink of fresh water will suffice. Of course, but won't you take some food with you then? I could have Laurel and prepare a small package for each of you. Good for two days at least. She's quite a cook, you know. Uh, you've been too kind, yes. I think we got some rations out of that. What's here? Ah, uh, yes. Chartered by the local lord. Good. Alright. Are you a dwarf? Uh, this is just again somebody talking about his failed love affair. Barmaid. Who are you? Uh, sometimes I come to this place to drink and gab, the man said, but sometimes I come to gab. Well then, perhaps you could tell us. Today I just came to drink. Again, somebody who doesn't want to talk to Locklear. Oh, no thank you, not this time. Let's play the loot. Oh. That was interesting. I don't think I've heard that song tortured so much in one evening. You're lucky the patrons are drunk tonight. Against my better judgement, they're demanding I pay you. Here. Cool. See, he's now good enough that you can actually hear what he's playing. It still sucks, but 15 sovereigns, that's... Not too bad. Can we do that again? 
No, no, they have an entertainment fund and it's tapped. But that's not bad. Fifteen sovereigns. That's good for for Owen playing the the loot. Very nice. Hmm. Is this a star? It would be nice if it were. Okay, yeah, shopkeeper, very good, good start. Pierce Perry's weapons. Okie dokie, he doesn't have a repair due either, but that is not too bad. Oh. There's a cashier tape here that isn't magical, but two handed. I think we're going to buy a two handed sword for. Um, for Locklear. What else do you have? Ooh. Not bad at all. Hmm. Well, we don't need to buy. Nah. Nice armor, but that's just too much. Uh, and the tapir, of course, would be awesome as well, but I think we're going to spring for a. First of all, let's sell junk. Well, that's alright, I guess. With the crossbow, nine, that's not too bad. Um, let's sell those. Seven royals, which is nothing. Um, Fifteen sovereigns, good. You have some swords. Yeah, I definitely don't need to pick up any more broad swords because at this point, this isn't worth it anymore. Okay. Is it a heavy or a light bow? It's a light bow string, so we don't need that anymore. Okay, wow. Got good money from that. Now we're going to buy a two handed sword for you. And maybe now you don't suck so bad anymore. Not the elven quarrels, but I think I will spring for some Tsurani quarrels. Um, because there may come a point at which I need some really good ranged thingy. Uh, all he's going to give half of him to, uh, to Gorath. And now our inventory isn't messed up so bad anymore. Yeah. Okay, we've got really good equipment. Everybody's got good armor, good weapons. I'm feeling good about this playthrough, really good. I hope nothing horrible happens. What could possibly happen horrible? Um, if you're looking for my brother, he's not here right now. Actually, no. Are your parents about? <laughs> He's 13! We're barging in on a 13-year-old boy, I don't believe it. My folks were killed a year back. Mitch and I moved here several months ago to study swordplay with Ted Questor. We're going to find the bloody brigands who did it and feed them their own hearts. Uh, fatherly advice, such work with the old and more qualified. Is he good with a sword? He's the greatest! Lives right over there! Okay, um... Actually, if it's not too expensive, sword lessons would be awesome. Um, if you can teach us. It's, these are opportunities one should take because um, it's worth a lot to, to, to enhance one's uh, magic capabilities and such. Um, presently, a finely dressed man greeted them. As he spoke, he wiped sweat from his brow with a silk handkerchief. Fine day, don't you think? I'm Ted Questor. Have you come for a lesson? I don't know why he's British. His eyebrows raised in a hopeful arch. A lesson, inquired Locklear. The man disappeared into his house and returned with a blood-tipped fencing foil. Have you come to learn the finer arts of swords... Oh, this is silly. Of swordsmanship, yes, punctuating his question with several impressive maneuvers. 
I could give you all a quick lesson for only 75 sovereigns. How does that sound? Yes, please. Wonderful. Oh, I'm so pleased that you have accepted my offer. Now he's southern. As Gareth followed Ted into the small house, he was a trifle concerned about the man's credentials. After all, his strutting little peacock look that he looks as though he's never been in a fight in his life. The doubts were quickly dispelled as Ted took them through the finer points of sword use. Though he may not have had much experience in the field, it was evident to all he was a master of his art. He was even able to offer Owen a few pointers on how best to use staff in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Very good, because that's what we need him for. The lesson lasted several hours, and they were exhausted when they finished, but all agreed the money had been well spent. Not bad. I'm just going to take a quick look through... Yeah, his melee's great. Craft, lockpick. Uh, his farting is getting decent. His accuracy melee is getting decent as well, which is nice. <laughs> I actually tempted to tag that. No, that would be silly. Um, no. <laughs> his accuracy melee is good. Crossbow. Okay, I'm going to tag his crossbow just because. Um, Ah, uh, weapon craft, armor craft. All right. Good. Was there? No, that was anything. This is basically his village, apparently. Let's get back to the main road, then rest, and then um, I think I'm going to end the video, and we can continue whenever we come back along the coastline. I'm just going to make sure that I point myself in the right direction, so that, that I don't get lost again next time. Oh, how very nice. There are some... this is going to be fun, the next video. I don't think we're quite what they uh, what they bargained for. Yes, yes. <laughs> Actually, we don't need to rest, do we? We can, we can do this fight in the dark. Sure. But that's for next time. I'm going to leave it with a little cliffhanger. Not that we have much to fear from those, but they're not just regular assassins. There's at least one who's, who's got a little bit of... who's a bit more buff. Anyway, that's for next time. Until then, I hope you had fun. Take care of yourselves, be well, and have fun at whatever it is you're doing. Bye-bye.